Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the former Tory MP Harvey Proctor says his life has been left in ruins after he was cleared of being part of a VIP paedophile ring. Mr Proctor said that the Met Police investigation meant he'd been wrongly depicted as a child abuser and murderer, breaking down several times during his press conference. And he called on Home Secretary Theresa May to consider her position. Scotland Yard said it had been absolutely right to pursue the allegations and will not be commenting any further. Mr Proctor joins us in a moment, but first... Paul McNamara with this report. Under suspicion, the seat of democracy became the focus of an alleged VIP paedophile network. Operation Midland was set up to investigate it, but what is its legacy? 16 months of investigations, two million pounds of public money, and the lives of many ruined in the process. Lives like Harvey Proctor's. It has been a harrowing time for me for my family and for my friends. The trauma I have experienced, I would not wish on anyone, not even on Nick. Nick, the man behind the gravest of allegations. Mr Proctor refused to speak to the press after his court appearance. Back in the 80s, Harvey Proctor was a prominent MP. He stood down after pleading guilty to acts of gross indecency for sex with male prostitutes, who at the time were below the legal age of consent. Nick alleged that during this time he was abused by Mr Proctor and others, and that he saw them commit murder. In November 2014, the Met Police launched Operation Midland to investigate Nick's claims. Four months later, Harvey Proctor's home is searched, and within hours, news of the search appears in the press. In June 2015, he's interviewed by the police for six hours. But by September, Scotland Yard is backtracking, accepting it should never have described Nick's untested claims as credible and true. Just over a week ago, Operation Midland is shut down. Not a single charge is brought, and Mr Proctor is told he faces no further action. Yet, he says, his life is in ruins. Today, Harvey Proctor lay blame squarely at the doors of the Metropolitan Police. He said they enabled him to be depicted as a paedophile, a child abuser and a child murderer. The worst that can be said of any human being. I think they regarded me to be disposable. I hope they're proud of themselves for irrev terribly ruined my life. Tonight, Mr Proctor says he's exploring all legal possibilities, including action against his accuser. Well, Harvey Proctor joins us now. Um, Mr Proctor, you, you talked about, right there, about being disposable. What did you mean by that? I think they didn't care a damn about who they got at in their inquiries. They started the Operation Midland Inquiry believing that everything that Nick said to the police officers were credible and true, the words that the superintendent used. But they weren't his words. They were put into his mouth by his seniors at Scotland Yard. They thought well, that... Well, that's your allegation. I mean... It is my allegation. It is thought... They thought that everything was true. There's a problem here, though, isn't there? Because for so long, people who have been abused have never been uh, believed. And, and the weight of, of inquiry has been to reject them. Uh, correct. But the pendulum has swung too far the other way so that innocent before proven guilty has uh, been trashed by the Metropolitan Police in this inquiry. It is not my position that there should have been no investigation, but the investigation should have been conducted expeditiously. It was not. It's very, very difficult, though, to, to be expeditious about historical 
allegations, isn't it? It is when the original allegations come from one man, uncorroborated and fantastical. Uh, they were not credible, they were incredible. That should have cautioned the Metropolitan Police in how they pursued their investigation. Isn't there a problem here in the sense that, after all this, will anyone in an authority ever be investigated for anything like this again? I mean, there's been a cast list of people, including yourself, who have been investigated in this way. The police are going to run scared of people coming forward. And doesn't this therefore, in a sense, suggest to people who have been abused and have allegations, they won't be listened to? In my book, Credible and True, which I have written this last six months and published today, I say that there should be a better... That was a, a better, good plug. That, That's a nice light A light aside. A light aside, um, but a genuine one. In the book, there is a call by me for a better balance between the alleged complainant and the alleged suspect. That has to be achieved. What the Metropolitan Police have done by Operation Midland is to completely upset that balance. What has it done to you and your life? I'm not sure that I've got a life left. I have no home, I have no job, although uh, elderly, uh, financially, I'm not wealthy. I need to work, I want to work, I, I, I'm looking for work. Um, but I do not know whether I've got a present or a future. Uh, it has been very traumatic. And every day that I wrote a contribution towards my book, it was very emotionally difficult for me to get through the day. Harvey Proctor, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.